Welcome to the Chesham Pre-Intermediate Class. Now, I don't normally ever do a video in the middle of a lesson, but this is so important that I wanted to go through this with all of you and then to put it on Facebook and YouTube afterwards. I'm only interested in the problems. The good sentences are boring. I want problems. So, here's our first one. Um, at the weekends, she usually going to walk with she's family. Come a bit closer, make sure you can see the whole of this uh, sentence though, Gloria. What, what are the problems? Her family. Her, 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 family. her family. Very good. Her, this is a, we, this is like a possessive. So after a possessive we put a noun. Good. Now, there's another problem here. God. Yes. Because of... Usually. Yes. Because of usually an adverb of frequency, we are talking about a habit, so we must use present simple. Is that sentence good now? Is it good now, Eva? Yes, happy everybody? Are you happy, Gloria, with that? Mm, yeah. Look at this word here. She is usually. She is, she is. No, not she is. This is good. She usually. Usually. Um, goes. Goes. We never change an adverb of frequency. Yes, yes, yes. An adverb of frequency is the adverb of frequency. But it's the verb that has to change in the present simple with he, she, and it. You have to remember this, guys, okay? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is good. Um, okay, let's have a look at this one. Her husband is a nice man. He's a nice man. A nice man, absolutely. <laughs> We have to remember the article. Now, this is a Polish problem. In Poland, we, articles don't exist. So yeah. this is new learning for you. So make sure you get the book, Essential Grammar in Use, and start working your way through the articles section. Do it slowly. Don't do an exercise, get it right, and go, right, I'm going to do the next one. Break. Give your time to digest everything that you got wrong mm -hmm. and learn it before you move on. There are about 10 units to do. Okay? If you have problems getting the book, let me know. Okay. This is wonderful, wonderful. Now there's a little problem here, which I've just taught you, Gloria, which is Essential Grammar in Use Unit 52, for anybody that's got the book. One day she wants to go in on the trip. What's wrong here? To go. To go. That's right. So after the verb want, we always have to use a to infinitive. So here's the third person, which you got right, and then we have to use a to infinitive. She wants to go, she wants to eat, she wants to travel, whatever. Okay? Okay. She wants to go on the trip, the specific trip? To a trip. To, on, on a trip. No, on is good. On a trip. On is good. On a trip, yes. Yeah, just a trip somewhere. We don't know where. Okay, moving on to this board here. Uh, well, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah. Um, moving, on to this, moving on to this board here. At the weekends, she usually cleaning home and cooking. Clean and cook. Is that better now? She is. Uh -uh, not she is. She usually yes. cleans. She usually cleans home and cooks. And cooks. And cooks. Yes. Today she is likes to paint or decorate the room. <laughs> What's wrong with the she is likes? Today she's painting. Right. You can 
But Today she is painting. Uh -huh. Or we can use this word because it's good. <coughs> decorating. Today she's painting or decorating. Oh, which word better? It's decorating or painting. Mm. It's two, it's alright, yeah. Both are good, yeah. Painting is painting. Decorating is painting and maybe putting some nice things. Mm. Decorating is more general. It's more than just painting. Um, Maybe she's doing some plastering. But I know it's painting better for pictures, you know, for um, art. It can know? be good for any painting, all yeah. the walls. But decorating is when you prepare, mm. you put coving, maybe you fix some electrics, maybe you put wallpaper. Mm. Anything to do with that DIY mm. is decorating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Decorating is painting as well. So this includes lots of things, and this is just painting. Her husband is reading newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, newspaper or the newspaper? Yes, a newspaper or the newspaper, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So we can use either one of those. The newspaper or the newspaper. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like out too much. There's a word missing here. He doesn't like God. Oh. He doesn't like still a problem. Going right? out. Okay, he doesn't like going or he doesn't like to go. Oh, okay. Remember with like you can use either construction. It's up to you. One day she wants to go to the theatre together. Oh, that's nice. Juliet doesn't like housework. Good for her. Okay, so that's good. So here we are fixing problems with some verb patterns. We are fixing problems with present simple sentences, present continuous sentences. This is really important. So we have to remember our rules. For present simple and present continuous. Present simple for habits, for routines, for things that are generally true. And we use the subject with the verb. And the verb is always in the present simple. Sometimes we use a little adverb of frequency, yeah, for the habits and the routines. But in general, these are the things we need to remember. For present continuous, we need to remember the subject plus the verb to be plus the present continuous. So today, they are not, because it's negative, doing anything. So if it's negative, you just add the not after the verb to be. Um, and that's about it for now. Well, obviously, we need to talk a bit more about verb patterns, and we need to talk about... Um, the other thing we need to talk about the other thing we need to talk about which came up a couple of times um, here this is a good example he doesn't like painting what tense is that no this is not present simple continuous. it is simple but you are confused because yes. you see this but, but remember, it's not the verb, the to be verb. There isn't the verb to be there. Yeah. So that, remember that, and we're using the, the negative with the verb, with the auxiliary verb to do. So remember that. that. This is really important, and I might do a lesson just about that. If to be, it's present continuous. If not to be, it's uh, simple continuous. Yeah, it's present simple. Okay. This is really important, yeah. because we do this a lot with the verb like. He doesn't like painting. This is not really a verb anymore. Some people call it a gerund. It's like a noun. Mm -hmm. But some people call it verbing. It doesn't matter. As long as you look at the construction and say, look, there's the auxiliary verb to do in the negative. So it must be present simple. And if you write it in a positive way, he likes painting. 
Now this verb doesn't exist, it's just he likes. But look, subject plus the verb, plus a gerund or verbing. Mm -hmm. So that is not present continuous, that is present simple. Present continuous comes with the subject plus the auxiliary verb to be plus the verb in the form. So remember the differences between these two and let's continue our lesson. Thank you.